six children in one day in an accident and i'm still standing here preaching from yesterday i've been treating malaria and i'm doing co attempt and i did one 11 40 this morning and i sat awake and i prepared my notes and i'm standing here preaching i have two more preachings to do in the day not here but in accra and you want to kill yourself Jack, face life get busy fight and stop that cowardice one day you just wake up and you've lost six children two biological four spiritual and all of them are close to you no 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 one should you have a bottom the police stood with me in the office but they said unfortunately we couldn't get any of them chairman clement looked at me pastor Eric looked at me all i said it, it is well it is fine then they said how do we now tell mommy i said leave her to me she's my wife i would know what to do you are disarmed from getting hurt about anything because when i got my trouble i didn't come and put it on you i stood i preached i carried on with my ministry i still look like this mommy still looks like this listen we didn't carry out trouble and come and put it in your house the best we could do for you is to stay alive and continue preaching listen if christ died for you and it didn't change anything for you if i die it will be a stupid death it will still not help you it will still not help you and i'm just using myself as an example because ladies and gentlemen sometimes when you are going through things in life the number of people you are looking for to blame for the situation i know that elder didn't visit me and visit me and the, the, the pastors were not concerned and the whole church nobody's concerned and they've left me alone and 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 i'm the only person going through this and i asked them do you know what they are going through at that time for example yesterday at dki this morning i'm standing here if i don't tell you i'm treating malaria you won't know at the point i stood at the back here i nearly told them bring me a chair to sit on because my eyes were going like this what i'm looking at and that's because you see the second dose of the coatem is the strongest and i'm on the second and i'm teaching you don't know what i'm going through the only thing is you've turned your problem into an anthem you are making choices and oh boy when we got into our trouble we got choices some people told me a friend of mine a white man he told me he said iswood you need a psychiatrist you really need a psychiatrist to take you through counseling i said no the greatest psych psychiatrist is the holy ghost spirit of the lord is upon me i have the holy ghost i don't need a psychiatrist and they said they told me they gave me the statistics they said um Eastwood, you know about 60 percent of marriages in america where they lose even one child the marriage ends up in divorce i said minus me a thousand will fall on my side and ten thousand on my right hand but it shall not come nigh me i survived because of god and you see them when they get dissolution from one church to another from one man of god to another from one prophet to another from one teacher to another and then on some of them sometimes even go and sleep with other men just in case it is their husband whose sperms are not working i remember one day i was somewhere when a woman brought her three children to come and greet me when they brought me the three children the lord told me this particular child doesn't belong to this woman's husband the child is another man's child but the woman has not disclosed it the number of families where a man is busy thinking all the children are his but it is only the woman who knows the father of some of those children are a lot and the reason is sometimes the pressure 
and you are not getting children and you are not producing and time is going and the person is in a hurry and the person is making choices sometimes choice of a wrong job you are waiting for the right job to come and the job is delaying and they call you and say come and sell kulukuli you are saying uh, half a loaf is better than none and there are people that are doing job and the job is half a loaf is better than none because they couldn't wait for the right thing everybody say choice